We also have battery operated screeds, power screeds. Something like this is way too small for us to get out a battery screed. Now, if you have one or you, maybe you could rent one, you could, you could use one of those on something like this too. It might make it a little bit easier for you, but there's a little bit of a learning curve to those also for getting stuff level. I got all kinds of videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing. And if you do really want to learn how to use a power screed or a battery screed, I got that stuff in the concrete underground also. So here I am, I'm bull floating this, and I'm going to be a little bit fussy, a little bit more careful bull floating. Um, even more careful than what I usually am because I know this is going to be the final finish, so I'm going to try not to leave any deep lines or anything like that. The good thing about that bull float is it has rounded edges on it, and when you push it and pull it backwards, it, it leaves very little line in the concrete itself, finish line, versus maybe a square edge bull float that seemed to dig in a little bit more on the edges. So I want to make sure a couple things, that the concrete surface is really smooth. I've filled in you know, all the screed marks, all the rock holes or whatever filled all them in, smoothed the concrete off really nice and then not leave a line on that right hand side because that's kind of the finished side. I always overlap that side an inch or two when I pull the, the bull float backwards. And then where I pick the bull float up, it always leaves a little bit of a line. We'll mag float that out and make sure that's nice and smooth when we're all done.